best method to repair a bowed wall is to excavate the clay soils on the egg on that wall remove it two to three foot away you need all that hydrostatic pressure off that wall once that's done you can push the wall back to the limitations of the structure when you do a repair a repair you can only fix what the house will allow you to fix once we get it back to the, the limitations of the structure, then we set the I-beam braces or the tieback anchors that are pushed into the soil. Once those are secured, we waterproof the wall with a melrose membrane. It's 60 mil thick, runs down the entire wall over the footing to take all that hydrostatic pressure and that water that was trying to get into the wall. We are waterproofing it so it does not get in there. Once we do that, we put in a four inch triple wall PVC pipe next to the footing and we run that into the sump pump that's installed to either the corner or we, or we run it to daylight if it's an option. Once all that is completed, we backfill with 90% gravel. We take all that soil and we take it away from the house. The gravel is there for two reasons. One, it allows the water to run through without being obstructed by anything into the four inch pipe and allowing it to force it away from the, the house itself. Secondly, it's there as a crush barrier. All that hydrostatic pressure there is the, the soil that we did not touch, the undisturbed soil is still going to expand and retract. So that gravel acts as a crush barrier and it absorbs all that expansion of that soil so that hydrostatic pressure is not on the wall anymore. That way we can give you a lifetime warranty that your wall will never move or leak again once you do that repair. The most common reason a wall fails is lack of maintenance on the structure of the home. People take care of the inside of their house greatly. They, they love upgrades, they, they love all that, but they, they lack the maintenance aspect of outside that you have to do yearly. You have to make sure the gutters are clean. You have to make sure the gutters are big enough to hold the rains that we get to allow that water to get away from the house. You also have to make sure you have positive slope and grading away from the home. That way when it rains, all the water is forced away from the house. Once it's forced away from the house, it reduces the hydrostatic pressure that's on the side of your house and it also reduces the expansion of the soil that causes that wall to bow in over time. 